Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Sony Xperia M2 with me and this is the dual SIM version. We get this in two varieties, the single SIM and the dual SIM variant. And as you can see on the box, it says that uh, this uh, phone will get the 4.4 KitKat update. And uh, it's a mid-range device by Sony and it sports a 4.8 inch screen. It's a QHD uh, screen and it sports a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor that's based on the Snapdragon 400 chipset, the same as the Moto G. And it has NFC and it says it's Wi-Fi and also it has 8 megapixel rear facing camera with XOMR RS sensor. Uh, regarding the pricing, the price quoted here on the box is 21,990 but I purchased this unit from Fezzel Communications for around 20,000. The pricing of these phones change a lot in India so I'll also have the link for Flipkart in the show notes. And I do feel that the price is a little bit high for what you are getting uh, because the specs are very similar to the Moto uh, G. Uh, internal storage is 8 GB. And let's open up this device. Too many seals here and there. Finally, it opens and we have the handset itself. The battery is also sealed inside. Uh, initial impressions, the handset is pretty heavy. It sports a 4.8 inch screen. And we'll come back to this a bit later. Let's see what else do we get. And here, uh, this is the headset that we get. Again, it's not an in-ear, it's the standard type and we also have a button here to take our end calls and the microphone so no in-ear headphones and let's see what else do we get we have some booklets over here the startup guide for the Xperia M2 uh, it gives you the basic info how to set up the phone if you are new to Android and we also have important information and this is the warranty card so let me keep these things to the side and on this end we have the charger which is again a sony branded one and we'll also have a micro usb cable so let me just keep these things to the side and let's look at the handset itself so this is the handset itself and we have this plastic covering so let me take that out and on the back uh, it just says sony and xperia and uh, it's a dual sim that's why we have this a dual sim sticker this is also a sticker you can remove it and uh, let me give you a physical overview here on the top we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack and uh, on this end this is a flap actually this can be opened and this reveals the two sim card slots we can add both our sims over here uh, this phone also has a micro sd card slot up to 32 gb you can add the power button this is the volume rocker dedicated button for the uh, camera uh, opening for the lanyard and on the bottom looks like it has the speaker microphone and on this end this is also a flap and here you can add your micro SD card up to 32 GB is supported and this is the opening for the micro USB slot that will be used for charging this device moving towards the back we have a secondary microphone LED flash and also that 8 megapixel camera and this can also record video in full HD that is 1080p. We have N that means it's NFC compatible, Sony branding and Xperia. Initial impressions, uh, build quality looks good, it uh, looks stylish and front we have a VGA camera again that 4.8 inch screen that's a QHD screen. So let's do the first boot of this device and it gave me haptic feedback. And I feel that uh, Sony should have put uh, at least a 720p HD screen. Though we just have a QHD screen on this one. And this is the first boot so it can take some time. It was done quickly so let's just unlock. I haven't added any uh, SIM card here. So let's just quickly just set this up. And it says us to add a SIM card. And we are done. I'll do that later on. So this is done the first boot let's look at the android version and let's just go down oops let me just go back again the buttons are part of the display like most of the new xperia phones and out of the box it comes with the android version 4.3 that is jelly bean but as uh, it was stated on the box this phone will get the 4.4 kitkat update very soon let's look at the storage also internal storage is 8 gigs and let's see how much do we get out of that 
and out of that 8 gigs the available storage that we get is 3.96 uh, gb that's almost 4 gb that's available to you we can also add a micro sd card up to 32 gb let's also look at the display and uh, yes this phone does have auto brightness sensor so that's nice and we can also customize the notification light we can switch it on or off if you would like so let me just quickly set up my wi-fi network and the good thing is that it has both uh, the support for 2.4 gigahertz band as well as the 5 gigahertz band so that's nice and it quickly connected to our wi-fi network so now let's look at the app tray and again as we can see we have some uh, custom apps by sony like sony love music etc and uh, this is the standard app tray we have facebook that is pre-installed and these are some tools we also do have fm radio if you want that's nice and uh, there are some sony specific apps over here we do also get mcafe security sony music and sony love and even big flicks so yes there is some bloatware uh, that is pre-installed on this device so let's uh, just get out of this one and as we are connected uh, let's fire up the browser and let's go to our website that's tech2bus.com this is the standard keyboard that we get let's type in tech to bus yes there we have it and let's just go to the site and as you can see it loaded it quickly uh, regarding the processor it's a 1.2 gigahertz uh, uh, quad core processor that's based on the arm cortex a7 architecture uh, that is the uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 chipset and the GPU is the Adreno 305. In terms of RAM, it has 1 gig of RAM. Pinch to zoom seems to be fairly responsive. Uh, let's open up the story as it has a YouTube video. Let's see how it handles it. Orientation change as expected was quick. And let's try to play back this video. Let me maximize the volume. See the wing angles. Wing angle seems to be actually pretty good. Let me just get out. Uh, initial impressions, the sound output was good. It was loud, but at max, it was cracking a bit. I'll test it a lot more. So it looks like in uh, web browsing, you will not have an issue with this one. Also, let's quickly look at the camera before we end this uh, quick unboxing video. And this is the camera app. The rear facing camera is an 8 megapixel shooter and no we have the superior auto mode and we'll keep it on that for now and let's quickly just test it we do have the tap to focus and as you can see it was on auto and it fla fired the flash let me just switch off this and let me take the photograph let me take one more so let's uh, preview these pictures and let me just quickly just zoom in a little bit. Uh, this was uh, without the flash. Details are decent, I would say. Yes, there is a little bit of noise. Let's look at the other pictures also. This one was with the flash. So I'll test the camera a lot more. Uh, actually, I'll make a dedicated video regarding the camera performance of this Xperia M2. I'll also be comparing this Xperia M2 with this LG L90 because uh, both of them have very similar specs, the same processor, the same GPU. This one has a slightly smaller screen, that is the 4.7 inch screen. Uh, so that's it for now for this uh, quick uh, unboxing of this uh, Sony Xperia M2. I'll also be doing a full in-depth review. So if you have any particular questions regarding this Xperia M2, do post them in the comment section. I'll try to include those points in my main review. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.